and welcome back to another Absolute Beginner tutorial. In this really quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to put a double crochet border around any of your projects. Remember that's UK double US single. Now, I get a lot of requests for a video like this. I have already done one for granny squares so if it's a granny square that you're looking to put a border around just nip and check out um, my granny square border and joining tutorial which I will link in the description below anyway but this one is more for your other projects um, where you don't have the obvious stitches down the sides um, to put your border into so I know a lot of people aren't always sure where to put them or how frequently to put them so I thought I'd just do a really quick um, tutorial on that now for anyone who's wondering this is um, a ripple stitch blanket that I started a while ago and never got around to finishing so I thought I might as well just um, do one around this for now and I will also link the tutorial for this blanket in the description box as well. So once you've finished your project you're just going to obviously decide what colour you want to do your border in and I am going to start mine just on my bottom edge of my ripple blanket here just so that I can do a few of the obvious stitches with you and then work a corner and then we'll work up the awkward edge together as well. So to start with you want to just attach your yarn at any point in your blanket. So I'm just going to pop my hook through and then pull through my, she says, pull through my white yarn and I'm just going to tie that on in a very simple single knot. And now I'm ready to go. So I'm going to pop my hook back in where I've just um, tied on my yarn. Let me just move the blanket out of the way slightly. And then I'm going to grab that yarn and pull it up. And then I'm going to go into my next stitch. So I'm working on the bottom of my blanket. So this was originally my foundation chain. Um, but the stitches are still pretty obvious. You can see that there's one here and then another one here and another one here. So I'm just going to go into my next one and I do like to get the bottom two loops of the stitch even though it's the foundation chain just to make it nice and secure. Then I'm going to grab a loop and pull it up and then yarn over and pull through both. And again I'm going to go into my next stitch which is this one just here and again I've got two loops of that stitch on my hook, yarn over and pull up so we've got two loops yarn over and pull through both and again my next stitch is just here so I'm going to insert my hook there yarn over and pull up yarn over and pull through both and again so I'll just work this with you now just till I get to my corner just here going into each section Going into the bottom of each chain. So now I'm at my corner, so you can see this is just my corner section just here. And so into this corner section, I am going to put three double crochets. So that's one, and back into that same space, two, and back into the same space, and three. You need to put at least three stitches in um, so that it keeps your work nice and flat because if you only put one in it would do this to your work, your work would um, turn up like a dog ear, like this. And now we're going to work up um, this edge. So this edge is obviously my side edge and it's where I've got all of my colour changes that you can see as well. Um, so we'll just work this together now. So I've done my three in my corner just here and now I'm ready to move on. And so this blanket was done in treble crochets, remember that's UK treble. And so they are quite long stitches. And so what I'm going to do, this is the base of my first treble here, and then this is where my second treble starts. And so I'm going to go around my first treble. Um, I'm actually going to put my stitch around the entire treble. So I'm going, you can see the space there between the two trebles. So I'm going to pop my hook into that space and I'm going to do one double crochet. And then where the top of my treble is 
at the base of the next treble. You can see there's quite an obvious hole just here. I'm going to pop another stitch into there and then again I'm going to go around the hole of this next treble. So I'm going to insert my hook into that space and do a double. And again at the top of where that treble is I'm going to do another stitch and then again I'm going to go around the entire treble and then again where you, this is where there's a colour change now so I'm going to go into the top section of that treble and do a double and then I'm going to go again around the whole of that first treble in the pale pink I'm going to go around that completely and then again at the top of the, that treble where the start of the next row is I'm going to do another one and then again I'm going to go around the whole of that treble and then again into where the top of that treble is and then again around the whole of the treble and then again I've got a colour change so again I'm going to do one into the, where the top of the treble is where the new row starts and then again I'm going to go around that first treble in the new colour and then again into the top part of the treble and then again around the next part of the treble and again into the top and again around the whole treble and again into the top part of that treble and then again around so obviously this is if you were working around trebles, if you were doing half trebles or if you had rows of double crochet it would pretty much be exactly the same. It would just be a case of evenly placing your stitches. That's all it is. You don't necessarily have to do it how I've done it, one around a treble, one into the top and one around. You can literally just, as long as you can see that there's an even space as you can here between all of your stitches that will work, that will be absolutely fine. So, like I say, this is how I'm doing it here for trebles, um, and it would be very similar for half trebles as well. Um, when it comes to just plain old rows of double crochet or single in the US, you would literally just um, space them out as evenly as you could and just do that by eye. As long as you remember to put your three stitches in each corner as well, that's very important. So I'll just work up to this next corner with you. So again to the top of that one, around the whole of the treble, the top of the treble, and again around the whole of your treble. So this just gives you a nice even base for whatever border pattern you are putting around your blanket. That's all this will do, is just give you a starting point. So again I'm at the corner now, so I'm going to make sure that I do my three stitches, so I've just done one, two, and three. And now I'm at the top edge of my blanket, so I have obvious stitches to work into along here. So obviously on your top edge of your project, you will literally just put one double crochet into each stitch along. So the top is always nice and easy because you are literally just doing one double into the top of every single stitch. So it's nice and easy along that top edge. I'm just going to stop there for a second. So you can see now that that is my border done around this edge, around my corner, all the way down along my awkward edge, around this corner and part way along the bottom. What you would do when you got around to where you started from, once you've done your last double crochet into this stitch here, because this next one there is where we started from. So once you've completed your double into this one, you would literally insert your hook into the top of that very first double that you did. And then you would yarn over and you would pull through both and just do a slip stitch. And then you would be finished with your foundation 
for your border of double crochets and you will be ready to move on to whatever else you were doing for your border. So that's it for this, that is literally all I was going to show you today was how to do the border around an awkward edge, I always call them awkward edges because I, I used to hate putting borders around them because I just never knew where to put my stitches. So you can see it does lie nice and flat, it doesn't wave or anything and the corner sits nice and flat at that top edge as well. So I hope that you've enjoyed that one um, and that it's been useful for you. Please remember to give me a really quick thumbs up um, and to subscribe if you haven't done so already. But I will see you for another beginner tutorial very soon. Thanks guys, bye.